Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Multivac. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check it out. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of the video. And before we get into the video real quick, I do want to give a shout out to my Patreon. So we do have a Patreon on this channel. It's a great way to support me and a great way for me to give back to those who support me. Uh, obviously, uh, a lot of exclusive and extra content. If you join in now, you will get around about, I think, 26, yeah, 26 exclusive posts. So we do have low cap jump calls, uh, early access, patron shout out, technical analysis requests. We have a Patreon chat. So all that good stuff. Think of it as buying a cup of coffee, but instead of the coffee, you get a lot of useful information throughout the month that will potentially make you, uh, you know, a lot of money, right? So I will make sure your investment in me pays off. And with that said, let's jump into the daily chart. So Multivac on the daily still consolidating and potentially this is us bottoming out right now on the daily chart. As you can see, we're going to have, you know, this nice rounded bottom over here and we're breaking through a major resistance level on the RSI on the daily chart here, you can see that we've held this level as resistance multiple times. So once November 25th and once October 26th. But now in December, we're breaking through that resistance, which is very nice. So on the on the RSI, what you can see after this is a break of resistance and then a back test of support. So we may see some sort of a breakthrough, uh, up, you know, above the 20 EMA, then a pullback back to the 20 may hold that as support and then get the bullish cross so yeah obviously if we get any major pullbacks in the market you know multivac is going to go down with it uh 0 0.0082 cents is your nice entry point at the 786 over here if we start losing that if we start losing this 0 0.0786 on the fib obviously the the level below that we have is 0 0.004 on the fib but you know that's that's a pretty hefty correction, right? So we may get a wick to to that area, but that's a 55% pullback from where we are right now, and from the all-time high, that's an 85% pullback. So personally, I don't think we're going to be going as low as the golden ratio over here. But to be honest with you, we haven't back tested it as support after we broke through it. So potentially we're going to come back down here if we have a major pullback in the markets but i really don't see that happening we, we're holding the support on the 786 very nicely we're already very overextended on the emas so the gap in between the emas is quite large we're far away from the ema we haven't touched it in quite a long time so i really do think that uh, we're going to start, you know, our relief rally very soon. And we're potentially, you know, by the beginning of the next year, we're going to be, uh, you know, seeing new all time highs for various projects. So, yeah, like I said, daily RSI doing very well, recovering from the oversold over here. And we're breaking through a major level of resistance. This is telling me that we're, you know, potentially going to start flipping bullish very soon. But yeah, other than that, really nothing nothing you know to see right now on the daily chart as you can see we're we are potentially forming some sort of a horizontal over here let me just change the color so you can see a bit better so as you can see we do have some sort of a triangle over here and if we start breaking above you know you're, you're potentially just going to get to the 20 ema and if we start breaking down that's you know just below the 786 so yeah let's see where this triangle breaks out let's see how this plays out but yes we do have a symmetrical triangle right now we're being squeezed up in this little pattern over here and you know i do have you know i'm biased towards the upside so potentially the 20 ma is a nice little you know nice little target right now 23 percent for that little trade if you know you're entering for a quick little take profit trade then you know that is a very good area to enter but yeah with that being said let's jump into the four hourly chart now jumping into the four hourly you can see that we have the pretty much the same symmetrical triangle over here and i did draw out the fibs from the swing high over here uh december 7th and the swing low we have over here december 6th and December 14th so basically we're, we're making you know double bottoms over here and 
landing on the same level over here, but we're constantly making lower highs. Thus, we're creating a descending triangle over here on the four hourly chart. On the daily chart, that's a bit of more. Um, that's basically on the daily chart. It's this triangle over here that we have, right? So that's the triangle we have on the daily chart. But here on the four hourly chart, a bit of a different story because as you can see, we've landed on this, you know, pattern twice on the support line and we've been, we've been making lower highs. So we do have a breakout level as well. So let's chart that and give you guys some nice targets. So over here at the 0 0.0382, let's give that the price. So 0 0.012 cents is your target if you break to the upside. And if you start breaking to the downside, you're going to be looking at 0 0.0674. That's your target to the downside. So let's see, you know, where we break out. So the descending triangle is obviously a bearish pattern because you're being forced down, right? You're hitting your, your ass on the support, but you're being forced down and down and down. And eventually you just break down to your technical target. But sometimes these, you know, descending triangles do end up in a break to the upside, which is nice. So, you know, not all hope is lost. I do think we may potentially run into the golden ratio over here. So the golden ratio is sitting at 0 0.00 or no, I do apologize at 0 0.0111 cents. So we potentially can start breaking out of this triangle over here run into the golden ratio and come back for the 786 as support and the 786 over here is sitting at 0 0.0102 cents so yeah that can potentially be a nice entry point after we have this nice relief rally we're holding the four hourly 20 ma as support which is nice hopefully we can get the bearish cross that will or the bullish cross that will be your confirmation of the uptrend so all in all, looking, you know, pretty good for continuation. Hopefully we can break this major resistance level on the four hourly chart on the stochastic where we are recovering from the uh, oversold position. So very nice entry point. Still, we're not very overextended to the upside and to the overbought. On the MACD, we're just printing a bullish cross over here. As you can see, the last time we had this bullish cross over here, December 12th, we had a nice appreciation so potentially we could expect the same thing over here and the rsi on the four hourly chart over here sitting pretty neutral at the index of 52 so yeah that's pretty much it guys if i missed out anything on the charts please let me know down below in the comment section make sure to follow me on twitter check out the telegram chat and the discord server we have lots of great stuff over there great community if you have any questions you know just let us know in there and you know you're going to get your answer relatively quickly. People always, you know, help each other over there. Great community. And in the Discord, you can get constant news updates from the crypto world. You can request technical analysis and all that good stuff. And we do have a Patreon as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.